<laughs> this chat is an amazing pick. If there's one BB and it's not a brawling one, like Massa or Turpis and so on, that you can take in this mode and absolutely clap the living bejesus out of people, it's Lennon. This thing is absolutely amazing. He played it yes yesterday once. It worked out perfectly. How come? How come this thing is amazing? It is very tanky unless you show broadside. Then you're really easy to punish. But the guns. The guns, man. Super accurate, super fast. And, well, 406mm guns, so you, it means you overmatch pretty much every cruise on the 8. It's a joy. And it smashes BB so hard. On top of it, good turret traverse. Biased camo, of course. <laughs> what else? Good ASW. Decent concealment, decent speed. And yeah, you can pretty much shoot nearly full broadside without showing broadside, which is very good as well. Lenin is the best TA BB? Probably, yeah. And unle unlike Vladivostok, it doesn't have the weakness on long range. It's still fairly accurate on long range, while Vladivostok is like a shotgun on long range and only good at short range. And you're very tanky and resilient to HG spam as well, because you have a lot of armor platings everywhere. Is it better than Berlino? Oh, Berlino is pretty trash, honestly. The only good thing about it is the radar, pretty much. I mean, look at this accuracy. And that's long range. It even excels at short range. Oh shit, boy! <laughs> of course, this ship, ship is only as good as the captain. Just letting you know. If there's a bad landing captain, he's super easy to finish off because... Yeah, well, the ship has barely any armor on the side. Yeah, we're gonna go for the superstructure because we cannot pen him somewhere else. And we also got always gotta see we gotta pay attention to a Magi crossfire he interprets. A Magi is crossfiring, we're gonna slow down. We're gonna slightly angle, which should be enough to not get citadel at least. Not again, bro. You can also think about shooting one HE salvo here, honestly. Let's try. I just saw the HE is actually not that bad. Okay, bro. Very interesting. I thought like, wow, he's actually showed broadside, but Lo you, you, Yang just yoloed him, so... GG. <laughs> I think this game is already won, honestly. Вижу 
Simanto going for YOLO, okay. Interesting. Торпеды прямо по курсу. Actually, I'm not sure. Now we're gonna go left. We're gonna go in like this. I'm already one famous last word. Yeah. This hydro won't save him here anymore. He might be able to get some torps off, but we should be angled enough to only eat one if possible. Now I regret going here. He actually might be able to make the turn. That would be really annoying. If I would have known that I would have gone like this. So, did he torp? Can he torp? I don't, I don't, I saw him torping so many times, so I don't know if he actually has torps already or not. We'll find out. We're gonna heal a bit, so we're definitely gonna survive it. Okay, bro. Copium. Nice, nice overpens, bro. Hey, Captain Abra, welcome. Gonna slow down here. I don't want to go too much forward here, otherwise a Magi can catch our broadside, which would be very annoying. Actually, I'm gonna go full speed. I think we're gonna... Yeah, I need to go full... Look, I'm just sliding down here, so we should go full speed and angle. This is gonna hurt, maybe, though. Okay, no, he aimed pretty bad. Okay. Now we're angled. And now our Magi is in the very... Like, as the closer Magi comes, the worse it gets for him. From now on. There's nothing really you can do about this now. I'm in a perfect spot. Relax, bro. He, on the other hand, is in a very bad spot now. Oknaboy will take years to come back here for now. And all we gotta make sure is now to not show broadside and that's pretty much it. Now he even switched to HG. We can just go for the superstructure at this point. Which is super easy to hit with this accuracy as you can see. Team, can you please not... How does a kiting turbots loses against a pushing Bismarck? Things I'll never understand, man. These people really desperately want to throw today, kind of. The only two good people are the cruisers here right now. Well, oh, that looked pretty cool. Probably say in secondary. Yeah, but both are. The thing is, a kiting ship is always superior to a pushing one in these engagements, and they're both nearly the same HP, so I have no idea what he did there. I probably don't even want to know it because otherwise, I just want to remove my hair from my head. I just want you to be faster because eventually, Ognavo is gonna come, and then it's gonna be very interesting. Okay, Magi's gonna fall now. That's Oknavoy. Oknavoy did a massive mistake by smoking up, giving his position away. So we now know where the corps are coming from. 
That was a very big mistake by Ogneboy just now. I have good nets off, I don't care. I literally don't care at the moment. Did he use both dwarf sets? Yeah, he did use both dwarf sets, right? Good Snetsov is gonna trigger now. Okay, they're gonna make sure Shabur die. Can you guys make sure that Shabur dies? Please? Tago, please kill Sh Yeah, good. They're gonna kill Shibur. Finally. I'm gonna kill Ogneboy and the game is won. Turpets might get me with a long range shot, but that's it. Yeah, too bad you don't have Torps anymore, right? Little one. Oh wow, I torp now actually. I was I was very convinced that this top angle is not enough. Crazy. I did not expect he could torp because he was kiting in such a steep angle, so I was kind of sure he couldn't torp. Now it's gonna be still very close if we win or lose. If Atago plays that safe, we should be good. Nah, I don't think it's a loss. We have the points, Atago just needs to reverse. I think it's a win. Simply because if Atago keeps reversing, Turpets can't shoot him. And Ogneboy can't really do anything. I think it's a win. Even though it was, again... A win that's super unnecessarily hard. <laughs> All he has to do is now survive the Turpets and we won. And as long as he's behind the island, he's not getting spotted. Hipper is doing fine. Also remember again, Ognavoy just torped. If this guy is any smart, he's not opening up. And he's not, look. I just hope he's not gonna get spotted by Ognavoy now. Okay, he's spotted by Ognavoy. Otherwise he wouldn't open up. So you saw how he was holding the fire, that was very smart. Honestly, at this point, he can even win against Turpets, but hey. Turpets damage gone, that's good. He gets a heal off, yeah, that's a win. That's definitely a win. Ogna White Torps won't be ready by the time the game's over. Oh, don't shoot so much broadside. Don't make it too crazy. Okay, that's a permafire. Terpist is dead. Even if Atago dies, now the game is won. Yo, crazy, man. Two cruisers actually knew something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was... this this The thing about this game here is... It didn't have to be so close at all. Not...